Cabbage rose. You boil your cabbage in hot water till they start peeling off the cabbage leaves. Oh, it takes a few minutes. Then you uh, cut them off as you get them. See? There you go. That'll make a nice cabbage roll. Then you got to have hamburger. You got to have uh, onions, green peppers. This is ours from the garden. I didn't buy this cabbage. This is from the garden. So that's another cabbage thing. You're going to need hamburger, you're going to need onions, and you're going to need green peppers. And then you're going to stuff your cabbage and roll them up and bake them for 45 minutes at 350. This is the easiest meal you can make with your cabbage. And the fastest, I think. And you're gonna need some. Uh, you're gonna need some. Uh, tomatoes and tomato juice. You can use tomato sauce and juice if you want to. There we go. I found it finally. Boil this about five minutes and then you start taking your leaves off one by one. Or at least ten minutes. Try it at five. It should just peel right off. In boiling hot water. Check all your cabbages for worms and everything. Because when they come out of the garden... You can't be sure what's hiding in them. I wish people would quit calling. Every time I make a video, somebody calls to aggravate. And it ain't nobody we know. I hope y'all try this recipe. Look it up on the internet if you don't know how to make cabbage rolls. It'll tell you how. What all you need. But I'm just going to make it like I said. With green peppers, onions, and tomatoes, and tomato sauce. Okay, I'm going to get a 13 by 9 pan, and I'll be right back with you. Over here, we're getting our pan ready. we got our 13 by 9, and it's got uh, olive oil in the bottom and tomato juice in the bottom. That's what we're going to have here. Then we'll get back with you when we make the rest of it. We're frying the hamburger right now and the green onions and the green peppers. I mean... Purple onions. Yeah. 
Okay, we got it out half raw. We was going to fry it, but we ain't. We're just going to do it like this, like you're supposed to do. We was going to make it easy, but there ain't no sense in it. You can just do it just like this. Take your cabbage. Well, this is so little. Meat and green peppers in it. Just fold it like this. And lay it in your pan. That's all you have to do. It ain't going to be no big in these things, these little bitty ones ain't, but it'll give you a bite anyway. Now you lay it in your pan just like this right here on this side down. Okay. Now we got a bigger one now. Okay. Spoonful. Okay, get our onions. Okay, now you're going to wrap them up just like you do a taco. We go like this. Like this, and then you're just supposed to start rolling. There you go. That's how you do it. Let me show you one more. This is another little one. Okay, you're going to try to fold it, and then you're going to start rolling it as best as you can, because it's little, see, so it ain't going to make no perfect one. Okay, let's try one of these bigger leaves now. We're making this carb friendly. That's why you don't see no rice in it. Okay, you're going to take both sides. And then you're going to fold it. And fold it again. Now you put it down just like this in your pan. Okay, let's make another leaf. Green peppers, hamburger, and onions is all we're putting in this right now. Okay, let's put a little bit of onion. Okay, now we're going to put some tomatoes in it too, now. Since we're getting bigger leaves. See? And all we're going to use is canned tomatoes. Don't have to be perfect. Okay. Another bigger leaf. Okay, let's get a little bit of tomato, a little bit of uh, hamburger and green pepper. Okay, a little bit of onion. 
Okay, then you're going to take it, fold it over like this, fold it over like that, and then you're going to just start rolling. There you go. Okay, let's do one more where you can see what we're doing. Since we started with the tomatoes now. Okay, we'll take a spoonful of tomatoes. Some raw hamburger and some green onions. I mean some purple onions and green uh, bell peppers. I don't know why I keep calling them green onions. But there you go. There's another one. You can put other stuff in this if you want to, but this is just the way I'm going to make it because I've been eating low carb here lately. So that's the way I'm going to make it. Okay, we'll take a spoonful. Put it down in there. Okay, we've got our tomatoes. Okay, we're going to get us a little bit of onion. Okay, there we go. We're going to wrap them. There we go. There you go. There's another one. Okay, let me wrap these and then we'll get back to the other part. Thank you. My husband just brought these in from the garden. Four green tomatoes. And look at all these cucumbers we got again. And I just made 78 jars of pickles. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. That's what's left of our cabbage head from the garden. So we're just going to put it in with our stuff. Okay, here is our cabbage rolls. And we'll be right back with you. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder on top of these. Little bit of onion powder. And some black pepper. Okay, we're going to pour a can of tomatoes on top. Okay, one can of t water. Okay, hold on a minute. To our rolls, we're going to use this. Tomato base. Okay, here we go. We'll put one, two in there just to give it flavor, and then we're going to stir it around. Let it go all through the thing when it's cooking. Okay. Okay, we're going to use some uh, beef broth in it. Okay, we done two in it. Two teaspoons of tomato. We're going to do two teaspoons of beef. Okay, stir it up. Okay, that's all we're going to do to it. We're going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes at 350. Okay, we're going to check on our cabbage, see what it looks like. Oh, it's a boiling. Now we're going to put some cheese on it and stick it back in the oven for another 15 minutes.
Okay, we're going to leave it uncovered now. We did have it covered up with aluminum foil. We're going to leave it uncovered and put it back in the oven at 350 for 15 more minutes. We're going to end this video right here. This is our cabbage rows with our cabbage we growed in our garden. It was our first cabbage of the year. This is Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. And you can also watch me on uh, Facebook at Tanya Marie Fugit. Thanks for watching. Uh, please make this recipe and then leave me a comment down below that if you liked it or not. Thanks for watching. This is a low-carb meal.